Welcome to our video on Protégé Owl. Today, we're tackling an intriguing question from a newcomer to the world of ontology modeling. Our viewer is trying to create a grid with properties similar to Sudoku, specifically in Manchester Owl syntax. They need to establish a rule that ensures each column contains exactly four cells, each filled with the numbers one through four. Let's dive into the details of this challenge and explore how to set up the necessary axioms in Protégé. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. To model a grid similar to Sudoku and Protégé using OWL, we need to define our classes and properties carefully. Let's start by defining the main classes. Next, we will establish the relationships between these classes using object properties. This will help us define how cells relate to columns and the grid. Now let's set the constraints for our columns. Each column must contain exactly four cells, and each cell must have a value from one to four. Finally, we need to ensure that when we assign values to some cells, the reasoner can infer the values of the remaining cells. This is crucial for our Sudoku-like grid. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. The user proposes a new approach for handling values in Protege Owl. Instead of treating a cell as a class with a value, they suggest viewing a value as an entity that fits into a cell. They explain that this can be managed through logical expressions in the axioms. By defining a class for value and using a data property, we can assert values for individuals. The final structure can be expressed as a cell object having exactly one value, allowing for multiple options. This simplifies the representation. And that's it guys. I hope this video has helped you find that solution that you're looking for. If it did, please hit the subscribe button. I'd really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.